Good morning, everyone. My voice is tired. I had a very, very long weekend. The reason that I was gone was because I was helping Brian of Regular Car Reviews、um, film for his show. He. Filmed a couple of cars.、Uh, he filmed three cars, one of which, funny enough, was a mail truck. I got to drive a mail truck. What we were doing was、um, we were driving all the way up to Mount St. Helens and we were hanging out in parking lots.、Uh, like, th- there are a couple of them that、um, some scenic places to park your car along the road. Where you, can, um, where you can see the mountain really well. And so we were driving up and down the country roads and,、um, and getting footage and interviewing people. There were some fascinating vehicles that we were looking at.、Um, and yes, Nick, whatever, correct, a Grumman LLV.、Um, fantastic. Handles surprisingly well, although, you know, they have to handle well on like back roads and things like that. Oh, God. Bef- be- <laughs> Before I get into all my misadventures, I got a little bit sunburned because you get up that high. You know, we hit the snow line. Of course, we hit the snow line, and I immediately think of an、uh, inscription you had entered. Like, what was it? You had passed the snow line. <laughs> oh, my God. That- so. Before we get into what I was doing there and before we get into the, the main topic of our stream, we, did we just have a level four hype train? Jesus Christ, people. <laughs> Lee Bug has been subbed for three months now and just gives hearts. Thank you so much, Lee Bug. And Erndil, Erndil, how are you doing? Erndil has been subbed for an entire year now. And he just says, Oh, it's time for. Hold on, let me do my best Erndil voice. It's time for me to die? You, you got it, dog. <laughs> I, I tried to get the. the he- I don't know. Actually, Erndil, you don't hesitate, like, at all. You, are <laughs> you always know precisely what you want when you're saying it. And if you don't know what you want, then you express it definitively. When you don't know what you want, you know that you don't know what you want. <laughs> And I, I appreciate that about you. But Fred dying is cringe. Pleco Pleco with a thousand bits. Is it possible for me? Like, for some reason, the message that a person sends along with the bits does not come through. But I think I can scroll up. Can I scroll up far enough? Can I? Can I? Can I? I can't. Literally, there. <laughs> There was too much chatting and I missed your message.、Uh, but thank you. Thank you so much, Pleco Pleco. And Fanushka has been subbed for seven months now and just says, My immortal, I'm scared. <laughs> thank you so much, Fanushka. It, it's, it's gonna be a time. God, it, it's amazing. Error 404. Has been subbed for two months now and says, Sububby. 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 Subububu. You. Unity Bird. Unity Burb. Has gifted a sub to Ebony, Ebony Darkness Ravenway. <laughs> God damn it. Of course. Of course that exists. Well, congratulations, Emity Dementia Darkness Ravenway, on your gift sub. <laughs> Bocula has been subbed for three months now. Thank you so much. And J Bear has been subbed for two months and says thanks for the original gift sub. Yeah,、um, who gave J Bear the original sub? Because thanks, thanks a ton. Enjoy the emotes, all of you. Prince Apollyon. Is a fresh sub. You know what we need to do. Everyone, chuck beans on them. Dabeni118 has been subbed for two months now. 
Thank you very much. Deterongola subbed for two months, and they just say, you give me so much joy, sir. I'm glad. I I'm glad that I can make everyone's day a little bit easier. Nested Dreams has been subbed for three months now, and, say and says, here's a quarter. <laughs> Thank you very much. And... Large Rat Blasting Rope. You chose that. That was your choice. You had an entire world of options available to you. And you chose Large Rat Blasting Rope. All I can say is I hope that you're content. With your emotes! <laughs> Thank you very much for the two months. See, that that's me properly pitching my product. Oh, and Reno Miles just gifted a sub, sub to Cocodope. Hey, boy. Are you, are you actually here right now? My boy. My Mr. Ethan Dope. Wait. Large Rat Blasting Rope says, I changed my previous name to it. It was a double choice. So you had a different name. And you went back and changed it. To Large, large Rat Blasting Rope. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much, all of you, for supporting my... my weird little hobby. <laughs> oh my god, Double Plus Ungood Thinkwise said, My name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Ravenway, and I hope it's not bragging to say I was cute as heck at age 10. Oh no. <laughs> Do you got Empress Teresa and my 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 immortal. You got my um you got my my immortal in in my Empress. You got fuck, I ruined it. The joke's gone. GG. Joke's gone. Joke's dead. Reno Miles gifted a sub to Pee Pee Poo Poo Booty. Are you are you doing this just to like get me to say things? I, I saw someone in chat rec like said that I I should get a cameo account. Um Well I mean people are already gifting subs to people like Poop. So I I don't I don't see it as necessary. <laughs> hmm. Sippy. Right, so I spent all weekend um, with Brian uh, filming and helping him film, specifically um, for all of the cars that you see from uh, RCRP and W. Um, I will have been the, dr the uh, driver for the camera. So when we're like following the car, I was the driver. So I got to help. Um, I also, of course, drove us all the way um, there and back. I I think I did pretty well. Now you and Ethan are following each other. <laughs> was I not already? I was I not was I not? Oh, I was I wasn't sub to the boy. What are you sippying today, Fred? I'm glad you asked. I personally am sipping on Phoenix Oolong from Stephen Smith. I recently restocked on tea because I was getting low. Um, I gave out quite a bit of it, actually. Um, so I, I was running a bit low a bit early. We Grizz has been subbed for two months now, and they say, My immortal? No, it's yours now. Better give it to someone else before you lose all your cash and black hair dye and hot topic assortment. Also come. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, here's my monthly tea guide win. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been so buried trying to get this video out. I um I realized that 
I miscalculated, this video is going to be over five hours long. I'm going to I'm going to break it to my patrons soon, um, but it's getting to the point where there is no way I'm going to be able to finish it in time for the thing. Um, yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry for everyone that was like, all right, sweet, like videos coming out early May. It's like it might be more like late May because the extra time doesn't actually add that much extra production time. Just enough. Look, it's it's not scope creep because there is a limited amount that I'm going to be doing on Eve and I am trying to keep it to like just the important things. But again, Eve is such an interconnected web of complicated things that you like in order to do it proper justice, you do have to um, you have to give each event its uh, it, a proper amount of time. And I'm sure there are people who are going to be like, why did you spend so little time on this war? And it's like, because there are so many. <laughs> there are a lot. Are you a VTuber now? Yes. <laughs> Somebody. Sorry, sometimes I just read out um, what people say in chat and I don't make it immediately obvious that um, that I'm reading someone out in chat. So, so I'm worried that people are thinking I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Eve is a wonderful shit show, though. It's it's because I'm not um, I'm not limiting myself to just Nullsec. I'm also covering like the economics of um, of Empire Space. I'm covering some um, some specific events. I'm going to be covering covering Wormhole Space. I'm going to be covering uh, some of the history of the company. Um, so it, it's more than just, uh, Nullsec. It's why I want to be more holistic because most people who talk about Eve just talk about Nullsec and I don't want to do that. I want to go into the places where, uh, other people haven't. Hmm. I just know that this video has taken a long time and I hope that the wait will have been worth it. That's... I, I'm going to be doing some smaller topics after this. I went into Eve knowing that it was going to be huge. It just took a long time. Low and high sec. Yeah, um, little nurgling. I was mentioning that. Um, I, I'm covering low and high sec as well. That's. Uh, I'm going to be trying to. Um, high sec. The thing about the history of high sec and low sec is that they're a little bit more even. Um, because no real large powers were allowed to take hold in high sec because... Um, anyone could access the space very easily. And so any any corporation that got too large had war declared on them uh, by a ton of other corporations. And so they'd always get squashed immediately. So Nullsec in that way actually offered larger corporations a modicum of safety. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting nerdy. I I'm getting nerdy. But I, and like, like, like I was saying, you might, um, you might actually see me in regular car reviews because uh, you'll see me in the background a little bit, unless Brian actually decides to use um, the shot of me slav squatting in the back of, um, in the back of the postal truck, the Grumman. <laughs> because uh, apparently. Um, the, the, uh, this person has a lot of, like, East European viewers and, like, Polish viewers who are particularly, um, the, the person who brought the mail truck, I should say, also has his own tiny YouTube channel and he, a lot of his viewers are from Eastern Europe because they seem to like it. So I decided to, um, to give them a fond hello, so I slav squatted in the back of it and went, hello, I am happy to be saying hello to you from American postage truck. Just something like that. Hello. Uh, we also got to check out a, a tiny little car uh, called uh, the uh, Trabant. It was made in East Germany uh, behind the Iron Curtain. It was tiny. It's this little loaf of a car. It is precious. Um, but boy, howdy, is it shit. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, um, I, I'm blowing out the mic, but absolutely terrible little car. The clown car. Yeah, it's, it's the clown car. The Trabi, yeah. They're, <laughs> they're so bad. It's it's cute. Yeah, I see some people in chat already know exactly what I'm talking about. Do I have a lot of viewers from Eastern Europe? I don't know. 
are you are you from Eastern Europe? Chat, sound off. Please tell me. I so I've mentioned this before on stream, but I specifically stream at this time slot to um well, one, I don't want to step on Mike's toes. Uh, but two, I also want to give people from Europe the chance to watch. Because I know that a lot of my viewers, um, half of my viewers are from outside the US. Even though I speak, like, English. Even though, um, down the rabbit hole is in English. Can you step on, I'm, can you step on Mike's cock? Confucius Rex asks. Klatia. Okay. I know Croatia, whatever. Is Brazil Eastern Europe? <laughs> Main dog is from Ohio originally. I see a couple of Ohioans. Ohioans. Flamia Lotus says, hugely appreciated, Fred. As a Central European, you're one of the rare streamers. I don't have to rely on VODs all the time. Hey. <laughs> Mid-Europe slash Germany. Another Ohioan? What the hell? Why is Ohio? Why, why are there so many people from Ohio? Is Texas in Eastern Europe? It, it, this is this is a real big is mayonnaise an instrument moment. UK here. Nice. Canada. Ohio. Another Ohio. What the fuck? There's nothing else to do in Ohio. <laughs> Latin America. Hey. This is so cool that I have viewers from all over the place. That is awesome to me. Austria, Alabama, Cornland. Come down today and try some corn. Or we will sacrifice your newborn. <gasps> I tried to I tried to make a fucked up face. Which you can do kind of with rigs by just sort of turning your head. Why is Ohio so disproportionately represented? Keen to bird says, I didn't know Frederick down the rabbit hole Newtson was a bird. Yeah, surprise. <laughs> Hold on. You know what? I feel like I need to share that with all of you. Um, let me pause the music. Um, here we go. Calm down today. Uh, a short from, uh, who is this? Slime, uh, yeah, slime sickle, pronouncing it correctly. Here we. I'm gonna be on the right. Here. From the earth I rise, and to the earth I one day will return. What's up, mother shuckers? My name is Colonel Cornelius Cornwall, and I'm here today to introduce you to corn. Corn is a North American cereal plant that yields large kernels on a cob. It is also called maize because it's easy to get lost in its incredible flavor. Side effects of corn may include choking, I guess. Come down today and try some corn or we will sacrifice your newborn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is easy to get lost in its delicious flavor. Is this what Children of the Corn is about? Yes. <laughs> oh, great space adventure says you make cool content. I usually lurk, but I'm always down for the peck. Hey, hey. <laughs> I, okay, so look, if, if you're a lurker, I, I lurk too. I never participate in chat. Like, I will be watching Lime stream or Mike stream, um, and I just will not talk. I'm, I'm quiet. <laughs> I have to remind you to read the thing. Yeah, okay, but first, there is one thing I wanted to show all of you. Um, it's something that I want to bring to the next um, uh, Unreal Estate with Mike. Let me, let me show you the power of the, the Sutiagen house. That's the, I, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, 
fucking look at this. This is a sneak peek for the next on real estate because my God, look at this. Also, I can make myself bigger. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, God, look at this. Okay. So this actually has a little bit of a history. I'm just going to read the Wikipedia page because there's a fair bit of information on it. Uh, the Sutiagen house. Uh, dude, the, also called the Wooden Skyscraper, skyscraper or Solombala Skyscraper, was a wooden house in Arkhangelsk, Russia. Okay, um, for real? Oh, you know what? Let me move over to the right. Aha. I could probably make myself a wee bit bigger over there. Donk. Uh, donk. Haha. This thing is wild. Um, the 13-story, 44-meter-tall meter residence of the local crime lord Nikolai Petrovich Sutyagin was reported to be the world's, or at least Russia's, tallest wooden house, exceeding even the height of Kizhi Pogost, the tallest wooden church in Russia. Constructed by Mr. Sutyagin and his family for uh, family over 15 years, starting in 1992, without formal plans or a building permit, so going full Russian, uh, the structure deteriorated while Sutyagin spent a number of years in prison for racketeering. In 2008, it was condemned by the city as a fire hazard, and the courts ordered it to be fully demolished by February 1st, 2009. On December 26th, 2008, the tower was pulled down and the remainder was dismantled manually over the course of the next several months. The remaining four-story structure burned to the ground on May 6th, 2012. Which is really sad, because that's... It's so cool, right? It's... There was... Uh, you guys remember the hotel that I was talking about, uh, I think on last stream. Or no, which stream was it? Was it two streams ago? Where we looked at um, the hotel that was expanded out on. That was... It, it's because they basically had no plan. They just kept building it out. They took an outdoor area, and they then they turned it into an indoor area... Oh, what a, what a beautiful nightmare. Hey, we had a couple of subs. Um, Reno Miles gifted a sub to Nightbot. Okay, okay, I'll get Nightbot set up. I get it, I get it. <laughs> Curry Murmurs has been subbed for five months now. And they say, this is the place we come to suffer with an owl. Yeah. <laughs> And then Bored Lizzie 40 Wax has been subbed for four months. And they say four months in the bean room. And you know what? To everyone. Because they were like all of the all of the beanie people were coming in. But you know what it's time for everyone. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean hell. Welcome to hell. Enjoy your emotes. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. And I am Mr. Man has been subbed for two months now, and they just, they just bean. And well, you know what? It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. <laughs> there, you get a normal bean room. The bonus relaxation room. God, I, I will never forget that. They're just jumping into a bunch of coins. Fred really put on that take off your skin type beat. Yeah. It hurts less. <laughs> okay. I think it's about time that we actually do the thing that we came here for because I am incapable of staying on topic. Are you all ready for my immortal? It's sippy time. Hmm. 
I will warn you all right off the bat, this is going to be a semi-ASMR stream because my voice is tired after this weekend because you know we're out in like the wind, um, throat, like uh, my th throat was dry and I have to um, talk really loudly. My lips are still chapped. But let's begin. I found, and you know what, you guys? I found the perfect website for this, a, a re-upload, an old re-upload that is being kept online. Yeah, this is classic. So we have the proper aesthetic to go with it. <laughs> Thank you for your potato, Noli. I appreciate it. Your voice is a decadent mix of soft gravel and silk. Is that a... Is, is that a compliment? Is that a... Is that a compliment? Yes, it is. I'll take it. <laughs> oh my god, is that... Is that a... Mystery Science Theater 3000 reference I see in my subscriptions. Rip McGun Bullets has been subbed for two months now. Thank you so much. And hey. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Enjoy your emotes. I think so. I have a question. We have a very limited number of emote slots left. And Kirpa and I are working on filling them. Do you want Lauren with a knife, Lauren with a gun, or both? Like an emote with like both emotes. Do you want a knife emote and a gun emote, or just one? Both, 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 both. Where is where is Amogus? It's funny you ask that. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, image. Uh, let me show you the examples that he, like the concepts that he sent me. Here. These are some of the emotes that you can look forward to. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We're we're getting ourselves a dorselessness emote. <laughs> I wake. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's it's good, right? <laughs> the sleep also doubles as a cozy emote, right? It's good. It it can do both. Get yourself an emote that can do both. Oh, and Rip McGun Bolts. I'm not sure if I did this. I, I literally can't remember. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Thank you very much. But yes, I love how you have gun and gunt. <laughs> not the Ethan Ralph variety. I mentioned this before on stream, but I, I swear to God, I tried to understand and like research internet blood sports and I just couldn't every time I got five minutes into looking into it and I just couldn't care I could not rile myself to care like there will listen there will never be a there will never be an internet blood sports down the rabbit hole because I can't I can't spend five minutes looking at it without getting bored to tears okay my immortal <laughs> Let's begin. Thanks for the 30 bits, Salted Garakomuda. Crap. My Immortal. Chapter 1. Author's Note. And AN stands for Author's Note. We get those at the beginning of, I think, every chapter. Special thanks. Get it? Cause I'm gothic. To my GF. Ew, not in that way. Raven. Bloody Tears 666 for helping me with the story and spelling. You rock. Justin, you're the love of my depersing life. Ooh rock too. 
MCR rocks. X X X X X X X X X X X X. Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Ravenway, and I have long ebony black hair. That's how I got my name. With purple streaks and red tips that reaches my mid back, and icy blue eyes like limpid tears. Limpid? Hold on, I'm looking this up. Limpid. Oh. Completely clear. That is a word I did not know. I'm learning today. Is that a reference to a song? Eyes like limpid tears. And a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. Author's note, if you don't know who she is, get the hell out of here. Well, time to leave. <laughs> It's been a good stream, everyone. Grand Salamancer has been subbed for four months. Thank you so much. Hey. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. <laughs> you read this entire story to a friend as we were taking a seven-hour road trip upstate through a snowstorm a few years back. Okay, for a second I thought you were saying that this is going to take seven hours to read, and I was about to shove knives into my eyes. <laughs> T. I will leave. I'm not related to Gerard Way, but I wish I was because he's a major fucking hottie. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I have pale white skin. I'm also a witch, and I go to a magical magic school called Hog... Uh, I guess it's a magic school called Hogwarts in England, where I'm in the seventh year. I'm 17. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell, and I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic, and I buy all my clothes from there. For example, today I was wearing a black corset with matching lace around it, and a black leather miniskirt, pink fishnets, and black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick, white foundation, black eyeliner, and red sh eyeshadow. I was walking outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining, so there was no sun, which I was very happy about. A lot of preps stared at me. I put up my middle finger at them. <laughs> this feels like a Ben Hughes reaction. Hey... Hey, Ebony, shouted a voice. I looked up. It was Draco Malfoy. What's up, Draco? I asked. Nothing, he said shyly, just hanging out in the bathroom of my assigned at birth sex. But then I heard my friends call me, and I had to go away. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It, it's, it's just the, the brain rot is too funny. Oh god, are there going to be some people in chat? Yeah, there are going to be some people in chat who don't know what I'm referring to. God, Potter game. We will be playing that person's other games, by the way. Because god. I bought. I, I didn't just download, I bought Ready Player Fuck. Waldbachlauf. Just subbed. Thank you so much. And hey. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. I was not a Harry Potter fan. I'm very much on the outside in that way. Are you editorializing? I'm just improving it. That's all. <laughs> Author's note. Is it good? Please tell me. Thanks. Chapter 2. Author's note. So we literally just had the title. Like we had the chapter number. And we already have an author's note in between. Thanks to Bloody Tears 666 for helping me with the chapter. BTW, prep stop flaming my story, okay? The next day, I woke up in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again. I opened the door of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. <laughs> Oh, 
My coffin was black ebony, and inside it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the ends. I got out of my coffin and took took of my giant MCR t-shirt, which I used for pajamas. Instead, I put on a black leather dress, a pentagram necklace, combat boots, and black fishnets on. <laughs> I put on four pairs of earrings in my pierced ears and put my hair in a kind of messy bun. I'm glad that she specified that her ears were already pierced because... I put on four pairs of earrings in my unpierced ears. I cried in agony. As a vampire, my flesh reforms. It's kind like putting on earrings every morning is kind of like being Wolverine taking out his claws. <laughs> Does it hurt? Every time. My friend, Willow, author's note, Raven, this is you, woke up then and grinned at me. She flipped her long waist-length raven black hair with pink streaks and opened her forest green eyes. She put on her Marilyn Manson t-shirt with a black mini, fishnets and pointy high-heeled boots. We put on our makeup, black lipstick, white foundation, and black eyeliner. OMFG, I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday, she said excitedly. Yeah, so, I, sh I said, blushing. Do you like Draco, she asked as we went out of the Slytherin common room and into the Great Hall. No, I so fucking don't, I shouted. <laughs> yeah, right, she exclaimed. Just then, Draco walked up to me. I, I have to suppress my impulse to read this in the internet historian voice. Hi, he said. Hi, I replied flirtily. Guess what, he said. What, I asked. Well, Good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogsmeade, he told me. Oh my fucking god, I screamed. I love Draco. <laughs> I love Good Charlotte. They are my favorite band, besides MCR. I, I see MCR and I immediately think of like NCR, right? Like the radio in Fallout. <laughs> Dragon Pact Soul asks this story has to be satire, right? I'm not sure. It's hard to say. What does Good Charlotte sound like? I don't think I've ever heard them. Hey, Reno Miles. Thank you so much for subbing for two months. And they say, Bean to meet you. Author's note, an attempt to be funny was made. <laughs> well, author's note. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. <laughs> I loved Good Charlotte. They are my favorite band besides MCR. Well, do you want to go with me? He asked. I gasped. A cliffhanger. Chapter 3. Author's note. Stop flamming the story preps, okay? Otherwise, thanks to the gothic people for the good reviews. Thanks again, Raven. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't own this or the lyrics for good Kralot. <laughs> good Kralot is my favorite banad. On the night of the concert, I put on my black lace-up boots with high heels. Underneath them were ripped f ripped red fishnets. Wait, Fred, can you do a Warhammer orc voice? Because if so, you 100% need to read author's notes in the orc voice. Hold on. Stop flaming the story, preps, okay? Otherwise, thanks to the gothic people for the good reviews. Thanks again, Raven. Oh, yeah. BTW, I don't own this or the lyrics for Good Kralot. 
<laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Times to get flirting with Draco Malfoy. <laughs> <laughs> Goths are the biggest and the greenest. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, uh, okay. Hold on. Someone at. Okay. Farah asked if I was an orc war boss, what would my name be? Um. Oh, let's see. Oi would be. Um. Rip Beak Bean Smasher. That's what I would be. Rip Beak Bean Smasher. <laughs> on the night of the concert, I put on my black lace-up boots with high heels. Underneath them were ripped red fishnets. Then I put on a black leather mini dress with all this corset stuff on the back and front. Not, it wasn't actually wearing a corset, just corset stuff. Don't, don't, don't you invoke Ika Pika. <laughs> I put on matching fishnet on my arms. I straightened my hair and made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then, so I slit one of my- <laughs> I- I'm- I'm sorry. I- it just took me off guard. Okay, okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, but j just a casual slay. <laughs> Jesus. Look. <laughs> as, as someone with wrist scars, this is one of the funniest <laughs> parts of my immortal. <laughs> oh no, I, I I've read this before. It's just been a very long time. Ah, oh, so I've forgotten some of the some of the left hooks. <sighs> a little wrist slitting as a treat. No, as, as someone with wrist scars, this is the goddamn funniest part so far. Oh my god. I read a depressing book. <laughs> I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop bleeding. <laughs> and I listened to some good Charlotte. <laughs> oh, I painted my nails black and put on tons of black eyeliner. <laughs> Then I put on some black lipstick. I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyway. I drank some human blood. <laughs> so I was ready to go to the concert. No, guys, I'm okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. They're they're very old scars. <laughs> they're, they're, they're old. They're, they're old. I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. He was wearing a simple plan t-shirt. They would play at the show too. Baggy black skater pants, black nail polish, and a little eyeliner. Okay, I think I need to move the mic away for this. Author's note, a lot for cool boys wear it, okay? Hi, Dra Hi Draco, I said in a depressed voice. Hi, Ebony, he said back. We walked into his flying black Mercedes-Benz. The license plate said 666. <clears throat> oh, that, that orc voice is killing my throat. And flew to the place with the concert. So, so the venue? <laughs> There's a word for that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't cut my wrists anymore. Instead, I do orc voices. 
<laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. That was bad. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, okay. On the way, we listened excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. <laughs> we both smoked cigarettes and drugs. Dr drugs? <laughs> what drugs? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, God. Oh, we <laughs> just, you know, drugs. Uh, when we got there, we both hopped out of the car. Oh, by the way, I'm not, like, breaking anyone's ears, like, right? I, I put a compressor on my voice, so when I'm talking quieter, um, it's, it, like, I, I'm trying to make the audio a little bit more even. But is, is it nice and even for all of you, even when I get, uh, loud? <laughs> Weed in one nostril, Siggy in the other. <laughs> no ear. Okay, good. No ear R word. Okay. Uh, when we got there, we both hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. You come in cold, you're covered in blood, they're all so happy you've arrived. The doctor cuts your cord, hands you to your mom. She sets you free into this life. Sang, Joel! <laughs> okay, this has got to be Joel. I don't own the lyrics to that song. <laughs> Joel is so fucking hot, I said to Draco, pointing to him as he as he spoke in a Kermit voice, filling the club with his amazing voice. <laughs> Joel does have an amazing voice. Grand. Okay, say the line, Joel. Joel, did you download boobs again, Joel? <laughs> oh, Dad, no. Joel. New Scythe Lord. Oh, did he put out a new a new album? I really liked um, his first Scythe Lord album. Joel. Joel, are you listening to Good Char Good Craylot again, Joel? Good Craylot? <laughs> no, Dad, no. Suddenly, Draco looked sad. What's wrong? I asked as we moshed to the music. Look, if you're moshing, if you're like properly... Are there mosh pits at like My Chemical Romance concerts? I is that a thing? I can't, I can't imagine a mosh pit at a, at a fucking... My Chemical Romance concert. Only during Helena. Okay, look. Fuck You, Helena is a great song. Like, okay, can, can we, like, generally agree that My Chemical Romance actually is, like, pretty good? Like, completely independent of the whole scene around them. It's pretty good music, right? I never, like, got into it. Like, I, I was more into metal. Uh, growing up, like I, I was looking for my melodic metal and listening to Excalibur on repeat. <laughs> guilty pleasure music, yeah, I, I mentioned it before, but my guilty pleasure music is hard style. <laughs> I did listen to System of a Down. I owned a couple of System of a Down albums growing up. Anyway. Uh, if you're moshing, you, you don't have the chance to talk or see that someone is sad. The only way that you can tell if someone is sad in a mosh pit is if, like, they're just going, like, puppet mode. They just ragdoll. Literally wearing an MCR shirt. Yeah. Look, Helena, Helena unironically slaps. Fantastic song. What's wrong, I asked as we moshed to the music. Then I caught on. Hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you, I said. <laughs> really? asked Draco sensitively, and he put his arm around me all protective. Really, I said. Besides, I don't even know Joel, and he's going out with Hillary fucking Duff. 
I fucking hate that little bitch, I said disgustedly, thinking of her ugly blonde face. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That prep spotted. Wee woo wee woo wee. The night went on really well, and I had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We got GameCube concert tees. Draco and I crawled back into the Mercedes Benz. I, my, my name is, my name is Draco. I drive a Mercedes Benz. My name is Mercedes Benz. I'm a ba. <laughs> but Draco, <laughs> before we go to break, am I going to have to show that to everyone? But Draco didn't go back into Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into the Forbidden Forest. Ralsei Malfoy, yeah. There, there are some people who don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Hold on. The The video is called, Why is he selling merch for a demo? Is this, where is, which is the original? I think this is the no. original. <laughs> this is like one of my favorite shit posts ever. Hello, my name is, my name is Ralsei. I'm driving a Mercedes Benz. These are my friends. I'm a ba. I'm driving a Mercedes Benz. My name is Mercedes Benz. What's your name, kid? Ah, uh, Mercedes Benz. I like to come. <laughs> I like Mercedes Benz. Did you know? That I am driving a Mercedes Benz. No. If you if you're if you're enjoying this parody, don't forget to subscribe. Also, sorry, uh, back to parody. <laughs> uh, show me your car. Ralsey, Ralsey, show me your car. Okay, here's my car. Wow, it's a it's a Mercedes fucking Mercedes Benz. I don't... <laughs> I don't know why it's funny. I don't know why it's funny. Yeah, the clipping is intense. That wasn't OBS. That's just the video. I like to come. I like Mercedes Benz. I think you need to clip this and upload it to the main channel as your way of announcing you have a Twitch channel. I... I I think the people, the the people on YouTube who are finding it, like the the people who want to find this stream are finding it. I don't, <laughs> I I don't want to bring my main like I don't want to just be like, hey YouTube, come and watch me. I'm. I I feel like my audience for down the rabbit hole and my audience for Twitch that there's not as much overlap as I think people might expect. Okay. Hey guys. We're an hour into stream. You know what it's time for. Everyone, get up, stretch your legs, stretch your arms, get yourself a sippy, and I'll see you all in just a few minutes. Look after yourselves. Let me know once you get back, uh, once I get back, I'm going to expect a full report on what you all are sipping. Stay hydrated, I'll see you in just a few minutes. Some drink some human blood.
Hello. I return. We've only made it four chapters in. You know what, guys? I think that this is going to be a several stream read. <laughs> we're going to need a couple of streams for this in the same way that we're going to need another few streams for uh, the Final Fantasy house. I personally have returned with some Phoenix Oolong. Uh, I'm, I'm so chuffed that I, uh, that I have tea again. I, I got some of my favorites again. Um, this time though, like I, I got to drink uh, some golden oolong. It's a green heart cultivar. So very rich, very rich flavor and savory almost. Um, almost it, it smells almost like chocolate. But this time I have a Phoenix Oolong, which is very floral. It's almost, it, it almost has, uh, it has notes of lychee. Lychee, I think it's lychee. What did everyone else get? Gamer juice, silver needle white tea. Silver needle is like, oh God, how do I put this? Silver needle is to tea as like ramen is to Japanese noodles. It's the most basic but it also is just incredible like silver needle is special that is a specialty basic bitch jasmine jasmine tea is fantastic makes me happy hibiscus yerba mate does hibiscus work with mate because i feel like hibiscus overpowers anything that it's in Lipton, get out. No, I'm kidding. If you want to drink it, go ahead. Water, pure, valid. I'm not going to stop you. Luigi. Yo, why do you have Luigi? Why are you drinking Luigi? Got some water and took out the trash. Yeah, nice. Good excuse for a walk. Hot burnt bean water. I'm glad you're enjoying your coffee. <laughs> Ooh, I'm Freddie Newton, and I'm so quirky. I drink leaf juice and only upload once per year. <laughs> Goddamn. Mm. So, I had a very long weekend. Um, rather tiring. So, I, I get back... You know, after after being out for a, like after four days of just going and going, um, and you know what? I have bought War, uh, Total Warhammer three, and I was ready to like you know I I've been very excited about for a, about it for a long time, and you know I decide I I'm gonna sit down and game for a little bit to decompress. Uh, so you know what I boot up? Shogun two. It's inexplicable. I was so excited for Total Warhammer 3, and then I get the chance to game, and I boot up a decade-old Total War game. I <laughs> Look, I it's good. I love it. I love Shogun 2. It's comfy. Yeah, Shogun 2 is so good, right? Oh. I won't defend my decision, but I will admit to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Clear throat. Well, shall we return to my immortal? My throat's doing a little better now that I'm regularly drinking tea. Tea is so good for my throat. Oh, dude spankin' dude. <laughs> dude spankin' dude says, I must know where you, uh, where do you buy your tea? Um, my tea, I get my tea from, like, my favorites are, um, Da Nang. Like, for, for decent prices, I go to, uh, Stephen Smith, uh, for a lot of random teas. 
I go to Da Nang for some of my white tea and my ripe pu'er teas. I, um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Young Mountain Tea is another really good place with good prices. Um, and then for like my super special, right? My, my super special tea comes from uh, Chi Fine Teas. That's the stuff I save um, for when I have company or like special occasions. Sebenkia says tea, or as I like to call it, thrussy lube. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> ah. Don't drink oolong because the name is weird and I don't like it. <laughs> Did you have a role in Hunter the Parenting 2? I, I'm not aware of what that is. Uh, I, I had special thanks. It might be another Frederick Newton. Um, Frederick and like Frederick is a very common Nordic uh, first name. And then Newton is a very common Nordic surname. And it's German. And it's, it's, it's not that uncommon. Like my name is not that uncommon, I don't think. Or it's not that, yeah, it is. It is a relatively common name in certain areas of the world. Do you know Alpha Busa? I've done voice acting for him multiple times. <laughs> I've been in his shows. Oh, I I feel so stupid. Because I, I haven't I haven't actually watched his new stuff. That's what they named it. I didn't even see the name. Okay, you know what it um I didn't know what the name was because I um I was helping out with it before it even had a name and I haven't kept an eye on it. I've been saving it for a special occasion. But yes, I um I, I did I specifically I helped them through some of the hard times. I feel so silly. Like, I didn't even know the name of the project. But yeah, I like I, I've been saving it. I, I do the same thing with Nightmind, where like I I go for long tracts and I fall behind because I want to save it for a for a comfy evening. But I'm like so busy doing things that <laughs> I just don't. Okay. In Germany, more and more people are also drinking high-quality tea, especially younger generations. I want to see what distributors in um, in Europe have, so I'm curious. Do you know when you might do the channel awesome rabbit hole vid? Not sure. I'm going to have to look into it. Hey, um, I, I'm not sure. I'm probably going to do some smaller things before I get to it. But it might be interesting to get into now. Like now, I, I have been thinking about it. And yeah, Nightmind is a comfort watch. Okay, shall we? Because we are reading something today. <clears throat> Chapter four. Author's note. I said stop flaming, okay? Ebony's name is Ebony, not Mary Sue, okay? Draco is so in love with her that he is acting different. They knew each other before, okay? <laughs> oh, fuck, you're right, it's Enneby. Ebony's name is Enneby, <laughs> not Mary Sue. I have to, like, move the mic away so I don't blow it out. Oh, why do I do that with, with my throat? Mmm. Oh. No, I've been, like, under a rock for a while because I've been streaming. Like, I, I've been streaming and working on the Down the Rabbit Hole. And, um, like, I've just been so buried in writing. And then when I'm not doing that, I'm, like, in my whole reading to relax so it's like i i've been basically living under a rock for the last five months something like that 
X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X six 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 X X X X X X X X X X Draco, I shouted. What the fuck do you think you were doing? Draco didn't answer, but he stopped the flying car and he walked out of it. I walked out of it too, curiously. What the fucking hell? I asked angrily. Ebony, he asked. What? I snapped. Draco leaned in extra close and I looked into his gothic red eyes. He was wearing color contacts, which revealed so much depressing sorrow and evilness, and then suddenly I didn't feel mad anymore. And then... Suddenly, just as I Draco kissed me passionately... <laughs> wait, wait a minute, what? Just as I Draco kissed me passionately... <laughs> Draco climbed on top of me, and we started to make out keenly against a tree. He took of my top, and I took of his clothes. I even took of my bra. Then he put his thingy in my you-know-what, and we did it for the first time. Oh, 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 I screamed. <laughs> I was beginning to get an orgasm. We started to kiss everywhere, and my pale body became all warm. And then... Oh no, how am I gonna do this voice? I, I can't just do an orc, because that's what I'm going to immediately. <laughs> oh, bean room voice, you're right. What the hell are you doing, motherfuckers? It was... Dumbledore. Whoa! I can't fucking do a falsetto because the orc voice has shredded my throat. <laughs> Chapter 5 Author's Note Stop flaming! If you flam, it means you're a prep or a poser! The only reason Dumbledore swore is cause he had a headache, okay? And on top of that, he was mad at them for having sex! P.S. I'm not updating until I get five good revivals. Dumbledore made and Draco and I follow him. <laughs> he kept shouting at us angrily. You... Ludicrous fools. <laughs> Lu Lu <laughs> so, so for those who don't know, uh, The word ludicrous is spelled like I just typed it in chat. Ludicrous, as is spelled in this, is is an is a rapper. Uh, <laughs> this is ludicrous. <laughs> you ludicrous fools. I thought that they were into MCR and Good Charlotte. Ah, uh, okay. You ludicrous fools. I started to cry tears of blood down my pallid face. Draco comforted me. When we went back to the castle, Dumbledore took us to Professor Snape and Professor McGonagall. Mi Is this how you spell go McGonagall? who were both looking very angry. They were having sexual intercourse in the bonus bean room, he yelled in a furious voice. 
Why did you do such a thing, you mediocre dunces? Asked Professor McGonagall. How dare you? Demanded Professor Snape. Demanded? And then Draco shrieked, Because I love her! Everyone was quiet. Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall still looked mad, but Professor Snape said, Fine, very well, you may go up to your rooms. Draco and I went upstairs while the teachers glared at us. Are you okay, Ebony? Draco asked me gently. Yeah, I guess, I lied. I went to the girls' dorm and brushed my teeth and my hair and changed into a low-cut black floor-length dress with red lace all around it and black high heels. When I came out, Draco was standing in front of the bathroom and he started to sing I Just Wanna Live by Good Charlotte. I was so flattered, even though he wasn't supposed to be there. We hugged and kissed. After that, we said goodnight and he reluctantly went back into his room. Chapter 6 Author's Note She's up, preps, okay? P.S. I will not update until you give me good revows. <laughs> the next day, I woke up in my coffin. I put on a black miniskirt that was all ripped around the end, and a matching top with red skulls all over it and high-heeled boots that were black. I put on two pairs of skull earrings and two crosses in my ears. I spray-painted my hair with purple. In the great hall, I ate some, <laughs> some Count Chocula cereal with blood instead of milk. and a glass of red blood. Suddenly, someone bumped into me. All the blood spilled over my top. Bastard, I shouted angrily. I regretted saying it when I looked up, because I was looking into the pale white face of a gothic boy with spiky black hair with red streaks in it. He was wearing so much eyeliner that I was going down his face, and he was wearing black lipstick. <laughs> I was going down his face. He didn't have glasses anymore, and now he was wearing red contact lenses, just like Draco's, and there was no scar on his forehead anymore. So you've stripped Harry Potter of his most recognizable features. What? So it's not... What? Why? He had a manly stubble on his chin. He had a sexy English accent. He looked exactly like Joel Madam Madden. He was so sexy that my body went all hot when I saw him. Kind of like an erection, only I'm a girl, so I didn't get one. <laughs> you sicko. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry, he said in a shy voice. <laughs> yes, John Madden. Harry Potter is now Joel Madden, who is actually John Madden. Or I guess, I guess if this is Joel Madden now, it would be like, I'm so sorry, he said in a shy voice. I'm trying to do my best, Joel. That's all right. What's your name? I questioned. Look, you do, at this point, you don't have to say I said you don't need any qualifier. Okay, no, I'm not, I'm not going to give writing advice for this stream. I'm just going to take it in. My name's Harry Potter, although most people call me vampire these days, he grumbled. <laughs> Why, I exclaimed. Because I love the taste of human blood. He giggled. <laughs> Look, I can't do a Joel. 
Unless I, I can only do a Joel doing a Kermit. That's the best I can get. Well, I am a vampire, I confessed. Really? He whimpered. Or I guess he whimpered, so. Really? <laughs> yeah, I roared. Your Joel is great. Don't fucking lie to me. Yeah, I roared. We sat down to talk for a while. Then Draco came up behind me and told me he had a surprise for me, so I went away with him. Chapter 7. Bring Me to Life. Oh, I need a sip of tea before I do this again. Mm. Author's Note. Well, okay, you guys, I'm only writing this because I got five god reviews. By the way, I won't write the next chapter till I get ten good ones. Stop flaming or I'll ill report you. Ebony isn't a Mary Sue, okay? She isn't perfect. She's a satanitz. And she has problems. She's depressed, for God's sake. Stop flaming. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> X, 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 Z. X, 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 X. My head, hold on. I'm like getting lightheaded doing that voice. Satin it's. Oh. Mm. Draco and I held our pale white hands with black nail polish as we went upstairs. I was wearing red Satanist sings on my nails in red nail polish. Author's note! See, does that sound like a Mary Sue to you? I waved to Vampire. Dark misery was in his depressed eyes. I guess he was jealous of me that I was going out with Draco. Anyway, I went upstairs excitedly with Draco. We went into his room and locked the door. Then, we started Frenching passively. <laughs> passively? <laughs> and we took off each other's clothes enthusiastically, so... Just the laziest makeouts while very rapidly taking off each other's clothes. He felt me up before I took of my top. Then I took off my black leather bra and he took off his pants. We went on the bed and started making out naked. And then he put his boy's thingy in mine and we had sex. See, is that stupid? <laughs> oh, Draco, Draco, I screamed while getting an orgasm, when all of a sudden I saw a tattoo I had never seen before on Draco's arm. It was a black heart with an arrow through it. On it, in bloody gothic writing, were the words, Vampire. Words? That's one word. <laughs> I was so angry. You bastard, I shouted angrily, jumping out of the bed. No, no, but you don't understand, Draco pleaded. But I knew too much. No, you fucking idiot, I shouted. You probably have AIDS anyway. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I forgot <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Draco's closed. <laughs> Due to vampire and stingrays. I put on my clothes all huffily and then stomped out. Draco ran out even though he was naked. He had a ri we need Rich Evans yelling AIDS. Hold on. Yeah. 
Here we go. AIDS! 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 <laughs> there. I need to put that on my soundboard, too. AIDS! I put on my clothes all huffily and then stomped out. Draco ran out, even though he was naked. He had a really big you-know-what, but I was too mad to care. I stomped out and did so until I was in Vampire's classroom where he was having a lesson with Professor Snape and some other people. Vampire Potter, you motherfucker, I yelled. <laughs> Oh. Chapter 8 Author's Note Stop flashing, okay? If you do, then you are a prep. <laughs> Everyone in the class stared at me and then Draco came into the room even though he was naked and started begging me to take him back. Ebony, it's not what you think, Draco screamed sadly. My friend, bloody Mary Smith, smiled at me understatedly. She flipped her long, waist-length gothic black hair. So this is the length um, where it will touch the floor of a, uh, a dumpster if you're standing in it. Long waist length gothic black hair and opened her crimson eyes like blood that she was wearing contact lenses on. She had pale white skin that she was wearing white makeup on. Hermione was kidnapped when she was born. Her real parents are vampires and one of them is a witch, but Voldemort killed her mother and her father committed suicide because he was depressed about it. She still has nightmares about it, and she is very haunted and depressed. It also turns out her real last name is Smith, and not Granger. Since she had converted to Satanism, she is in Slytherin now, not Gryffindor. <laughs> all dogs go to heaven, all Satanists go to Slytherin. What is it that you desire, you ridiculous dimwit? Snape demeaned angrily in his cold voice, but I ignored him. Vampire, I can't believe you cheated on me with Draco. I shouted at him. What? Wait. But I thought Draco was the one... Dra she was with Draco. This is backwards. <laughs> Draco cheated on her. Like, she should be thinking that Drake... I don't care. I don't care. It's not worth it. Van uh, everyone gasped. I don't know why Ebony was so mad at me. I had went out with Vam... What? 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 Did we just switch to Draco's perspective? I don't know why Ebony was so mad at me. I had went out with Vampire. I'm by and so is Ebony for a while, but then he broke my heart. He dumped me because he liked Brittany, a stupid preppy fucker. <laughs> we were just good friends now. He had gone through horrible problems and now he was gothic. Haha, <laughs> like I would hang out with a prep. But I'm not going out with Draco anymore, said Vampire. Yeah, fucking right. Fuck off, you bastard, I screamed. I ran out of the room and into the forbidden forest where I had lost my virility. To Draco. <laughs> my virility. To Draco. And then <laughs> I started to bust into tears. Wait a minute, I thought you lost your virility, so how are you busting now? <laughs> Busting makes me feel good. Uh, chapter 9. Author's Note. Stop flaming, okay? I didn't read all the 
box, you git. This is from the movie, okay? So it's not my fault if Dumbledore swears. Besides, I said he had a headache. And the reason Snap doesn't like Harry now is cause he's Christian and vampire is Satanist. MCR rocks! <laughs> I was so mad and sad. I couldn't believe Draco for cheating on me. I began to cry against the tree where I did it with Draco. <laughs> then, all of a sudden, an horrible man with red eyes and no nose and everything... <laughs> a horrible man with red eyes and no nose and everything started flying towards me on a broomstick. He didn't have a nose, basically like Voldemort in the movie, and he was wearing all black, but it was obvious he wasn't gothic. It was... Voldemort. No, I shouted in a scared voice, but then Voldemort shouted, Imperious, and I couldn't run away. Crookshanks, I shouted at him. Voldemort fell of his broom and started to scream. I felt bad for him, even though I'm a sadist, so I stopped. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm a sadist. Ebony, he yelled, thou must kill Vampire Potter. I thought about Vampire and his sex eyes and his gothic black hair and how his face looks just like John Madden. I remembered that Draco had said I didn't understand, so I thought, what if Draco went out with Vampire before I went out with him and they broke up? No, Voldemort, I shouted back. Voldemort gave me a gun. <laughs> no, please, I begged. Thou must, he yelled. <laughs> if thou does not, then I shall kill thy beloved Draco. How did you know? I asked in a surprised way. Voldemort got a dude you're so... Our <laughs> word. Look on his face. I hath telekinesis. <laughs> he answered cruelly. <coughs> oh, my throat from, from the orc. And if you doth not kill Vampire, then thou know what will happen to Draco, he shouted. Then he flew away angrily on his broomstick. I was so scared and mad I didn't know what to do. Suddenly, Draco came into the woods. Draco, I said, hi. Hi, he said back, but his face was all sad. He was wearing white foundation and messy eyeliner, kind of like a pentagram, get it, between John Madden and Gerard Way. I know it's Joel Madden, I don't give a shit. Are you okay? I asked. No, he answered. I'm sorry I got all mad at you, but I thought you cheated on me, I expelled. You really need to sort out your priorities. That's okay, he said all depressed, and we went back into Hogwarts together, making out. Could you, <laughs> could you imagine trying to walk while making out? Just like walking through the woods. Hey, you. I really need, like, I have so many things for the soundboard. Chapter 10. Author's note. I... <laughs> I can't say that on stream. I, stop it, you gay Fs. If you do not like my story, then fuck off. Please, it turns out Bloody Mary isn't a muggle effect. Al and she and vampire are evil. That's why they moved houses, okay? Okay. <laughs> 
I was really scared about Vladimir all day. <laughs> I was even upset, went to rehearsals with my gothic metal band, Bloody Gothic Rose 666. I am the lead singer of it, and I play guitar. People say that we sound like a cross between a good Charlotte, Slipknot, and My Chemical Romance. Slipknot, also legitimately good. The other people in the band are Bloody Mary, Vampire, Draco, Ron, although we call him Diabolo now, he has black hair now with blue streaks in it, and Hargrid. <laughs> what the fuck? This is amazing. <laughs> There's so much, like, that's a lot to drop on a person all at once. So now there's a band dynamic. Hargrid. <laughs> Only today, Draco and Vampire were depressed, so they weren't coming and we wrote songs instead. I knew Draco was probably <laughs> slitting his wrists. You wouldn't die because he was a vampire too, and the only way you can kill a vampire is with a C-R-O-S-S. -S. There's no way I'm writing that. Or a steak. <laughs> Vampires are allergic to red meat. <laughs> the only way to kill a vampire is by stuffing a steak down his throat. Stuffing a git steak. Ugh. Beefed it. <laughs> and vampire was probably watching a depressing movie like The Corpse Bride. I put on a black leather shirt that showed off my boobs and tiny matching miniskirt that said simple plan on the butt. You might think I'm a slut, but I'm really not. We were singing a cover of Helena and at the end of the song I suddenly burst into tears. Ebony, are you okay? But Bloody Mary asked in a concer concerted voice. <laughs> the malapropisms are incredible. What the fuck do you think? I asked angrily, and then I said, Well, Voldemort came, and the fucking bastard told me to fucking kill Harry. But I don't want to kill him, because he's really nice, even if he did go out with Draco. But if I don't kill Harry, then Voldemort will fucking kill Draco. I burst into tears. Suddenly, Draco jumped out from behind a wall. Why didn't you fucking tell me, he shouted. How could you, you, you fucking poser muggle bitch? See, is that out of character? I started to cry and cry. Draco started to cry too, all sensitive. Then he ran out crying. We practiced for one more hour. Then suddenly Dumbledore walked in angrily. His eyes were all fiery and I knew this time it wasn't cause he had a headache. What have you done? He started to cry wisely. See, that's basically not swearing and this time he was really upset and you will cry. Ebony Draco has been found in his room. He committed suicide by slitting his wrists. I thought that he couldn't die from slitting. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Draco is the is the vampire, right? Draco and vampire Draco uh Dra yeah, Draco can't die from slitting his wrists. We we just established that. Oh no, the world of my immortal isn't consistent. Chapter 11. Author's note. Oh, I said stop flaming up preps. See if this chapter is stropped. It deals with really stress issues. Spit see for yourself if it's stupid bro thanks to my friend Raven for helping me. 
<laughs> that fell apart right toward the end. No, I screamed. I, <laughs> I was horrified. But Luddy Mary tried to comfort me, but I told her fuck off, and I ran to my room crying myself. <laughs> so, she writes, this person writes crying yourself like you would write shitting yourself. Oh, uh, I'm so glad that, that people are discovering me. You're at the party. That <laughs> Yeah, surprise, I stream and I, I do dumb shit here. Oh, I'm like lightheaded between laughing and doing the orc author voice. <laughs> Misty Marcella, thank you so much for two months of subbing. The beans are immortal. They are. That is why the bean room will never die. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. <laughs> never thought a commentary and essay YouTuber would be a VTuber? Um, surprise. <laughs> to be honest, it's because a lot of the thing... Uh, so, VTubing kind of solves a problem. I've mentioned this before. Um, the reason I, I decided to get a rig was because the things that I like to do on stream don't have a very strong visual component. And the rig uh, sort of solves that. It allows it allows you to focus on something if you want to watch. So it's not just a static screen. Because a static screen is kind of disconcerting because it might mean that the video is frozen. You never really know. Okay. Uh, Dumbledore chased after me, shouting, but he had to stop when I went into my room because he would look like a perv that way. Anyway, I started crying tears of blood, and then I slit both of my wrists. I never expect it to happen, and then it just happens. Dumbledore can't go in the dorm room because it doesn't align with his birth sex. <laughs> they got all over my clothes, so I took them off and jumped into the bath angrily while I put on a Linkin Park song at full volume. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I am I'm like imagining the angry Lauren face. Like the angry Lauren, like the angry leave emote sitting in the like in the bathtub just mm, angry uh i gr <laughs> uh i grabbed a stake and almost stuck it into my heart to commit suicide i was so fucking depressed I got out of the bathtub and put on a black low-cut dress with lace all over it, sandly. I put on black high heels with pink metal stuff on the ends and six pairs of skull earrings. I couldn't fucking believe it. Then I looked out the window and screamed. Snap was spying on me and he was taking a videotape of me. And Lupin was masticating to it. <laughs> they were sitting on their broomsticks. Jesus Christ. You, you fucking pervs, stop looking at me naked. Are you pedos or what? I screamed, putting on a black towel with a picture of Marilyn Manson on it. Suddenly, Vampire ran in. Abracadabra, he yelled at Snape and Lupin, pointing his womb. <laughs> <laughs> Pointing is what? <laughs> Masticating is chewing, yes. <laughs> Pointing his womb. <laughs> I took my gun and shot Snape and Lupin a gazillion times, and they both started screaming, and the camera broke. Suddenly, Dumbledore ran in. Ebony, it has been revealed that someone has. No! <laughs> he shouted, looking at Snape and Lupin, and then he waved his wand, and suddenly. 
Hagrid ran outside on his broom and said, Everyone, we need to talk. What do you know, Hagrid? You're just a little Hogwarts student. I may be a Hogwarts student, Hargrid paused angrily, but I am also a Satanist. <laughs> this cannot be, said, Snap said in a crisp voice as blood dripped from his hand where Dumbledore's wand had shot him. There must be other factors. <laughs> You don't have any, I yelled in madly. <laughs> Lupin held up the camera triumphantly. <laughs> triumphantly. The lens may be ruined, but the tape is still there. I felt faint more than I normally do, like how it feels when you dr do not drink enough blood. <laughs> What? <laughs> I feel like the plot absolutely went off the rails. Why are you doing this? Lupin said angrily while he rubbed his dirty hands on his cloak. And then I heard the words that I had heard before, but not from him. I did not know whether to feel shocked and happy or to bite him and drink his blood because I felt faint. <laughs> Vampire instincts. Because, because, Hargid said, and he paused in the air dramatically, waving his wand in the air. Then swooped he in, singing to the tune of a gothic version of a song by 50 Cent. What? Because you're gothic? Because you're gothic? Snap asked in a little afraid voice. Because he was afraid, it meant he was connected with Satan. Because I love her. <laughs> what is happening? Oh. The way you're emphasizing the prose is perfect. Thank you. I I keep stumbling over it and I, I, I have to read slowly because I get lost otherwise. Chapter 12. We'll do chapter 12, and then we'll take a sippy break. Chapter 12. Author's note. Stop for Aang, okay? Hagrid is a pedo, too. A lot of people in American schools are like that. I wanted to address the issue. How do you not snap? Yeah, Christian plus Hagrid isn't really in love with Ebony. That was Cedric, okay? Address. X X X X X X X X X X X X X X. I was about. I was about to slit my wrists again with the silver knife knife that Drago had given me in case anything happened to him. He had told me to use it valiantly against an enemy, but I knew that we must both go together. No, I thought it was hair grid, but it was vampire. He started to scream. OMFG, no, my scar hurts. And then his eyes rolled up. You could only see his red, whites, and blues. <laughs> I stopped. How did you know? I saw it, and my scar turned back into the lightning bolt. No, I ran up closer. I thought you didn't have a scar anymore, I shouted. I do, but Diabolo changed it into a pentagram for me, and I always cover it up with foundation. <laughs> he said back. Anyway, my scar hurt, and it turned back into the lightning bolt. Save me. Then I had a vision of what was happening to Draco. Volfamort has him bondage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel like this just gets so intense so fast anyway I was in the school nurse's office now recovering from my slit wrists 
Snap and Lupin and Hagrid were there too. They were going to St. Mango's after they recovered because they were pedophiles and you can't have those fucking pervs teaching in a school with lots of hot girls. Dumbledore had constipated the Sidio camera they took of me naked. Const <laughs> confiscated. She meant confiscated. <laughs> had constipated the Sidio camera. This is fucking amazing. I put up my middle finger at them. Anyway, Hargrid came into my hospital bed holding a bouquet of pink roses. Ebony, I need to tell you something, he said in a V, ser v serious. Whenever someone does like V for very, I always read it as like V. He said in a V serious voice, giving me the roses. Fuck off, I told him. You know I fucking hate the color pink anyway, and I don't like fucked up preps like you, I snapped. Hargrid had been mean to me before for being gothic. No, Enneby, Hargrid says, those are not roses. What, are they goths too, you poser prep? I asked because I was angry that he had brought me pink roses. I saved your life, he yelled angrily. No, you didn't, I replied. You saved me from getting a Paris Hilton P video made from your shower scene and being vooed by Snap and Lupin, who masturbated. See, is that spelled wrong? To it, he added silently. Whatever, I yelled angrily. <laughs> Anger angrily. He pointed his wand at the pink roses. These aren't roses. He suddenly looked at them with an evil look in his eye and muttered, Well, if you wanted honestly, that's all you had to say. That's not a spell, that's an MCR song, I corrected him wisely. <laughs> I know, I was just warming up my vocal cordes. <laughs> then he screamed, Petulus Marengo me cremisicli gramasio. For all you cool gothic MCR fans out there, that is a tribute. Especially for Raven, I love you, girl. Emo noto okayo. <laughs> I'm not okay. I think that's what it's supposed to be. And then the roses turned into a huge black flame floating in the middle of the air. And it was black. Now I knew he wasn't a prep. Okay, I believe you. Now what the fuck is Draco? Hair grid. <laughs> Hairgrid rolled his eyes. I looked into the balls of flame, but I could nothing. You see, you see, Enneby, Dumbledore said, watching the two of us watching the flame. To see what is in the flames. Ha oh, ha, you reviewers, flames, get it? You you must find herself first, Kay. What? I have found myself okay, you mean old man, Hargrid yelled. Dumbledore looked shocked. I guess he didn't have a headache or else he would have said something back. Thank you for the hundred bits, Miss Ebola. If Miss Ebola is saying, oh no, I'm worried. <laughs> Hairgrid stormed off back into his bed. You are a liar, Prof Dumbledore. Anyway, uh, anyway, when I got better, I went upstairs and put on a black. This is so long. Okay, we're almost done. Anyway, when I got better, I went upstairs and put on a black leather mini dress that was all ripped on the ends with lace on it. 
There was some corset stuff on the front. Then I put on black fishnets and black high-heeled boots with pictures of Billy Joel on them. I put my hair all out. I know it's Billy Joe Armstrong. I don't care. I put my hair all out around me. So I looked like Samara from The Ring. If you... If you don't know who she is, you're a prep, so fuck off. And I put on blood red lipstick, black eyeliner, and black lip gloss. You look kawaii, girl. But Luddy Mary said sadly. Fang... Fangs, get it? You do too. I said sadly too, but I was still upset. I slipped both of my wrists. I'm, I'm so sorry. I never expect it. I, I never expect it. I slipped both of my wrists feeling totally depressed and I sucked all the blood. I cried again in my bathroom and put the shades on so Snap and Lupin couldn't spy on me this time. I went to some classes. Vampire was in the hair of magical... magic... What? Vampire was in the hair of magical magic creatures. He looked all depressed because Draco had disappeared and he had used to be in love with Draco. He was sucking some blood from a Hufflepuff. Wow! This motherfucker just goes for it. Oh my god, the Hufflepuffs are just there to, like, suck the blood. Oh. Hi, he said in a depressed way. Hi back, I said in an Wakwali said way. <laughs> we both looked at each other for some time. Harry had beautiful red gothic eyes, so much like Draco's. Then, we jumped on each other and started screwing each other. <laughs> this story is starting to read like someone bashing a Barbie and Ken doll together. A different Dan with 100 bits, thank you. And they say, cut my life into pieces. This is my Wii Sports Resort. Thank you. <laughs> Stop. Stop it now, you horny simpletons, shouted Professor McGoggle, <laughs> who was watching us and so was everyone else. Vampire, you fucker, I said, slapping him. Stop trying to screw me. You know I loved Draco, I shouted, and then I ran away angrily. Just then he started to scream, OMFG, no, my scar hurts, and then his eyes rolled up, you could only see his red whites. No, I ran up closer. I thought you didn't have a scar anymore. We, are, we went over this already. I do, but Diabolo changed it into a pentagram for me and I always cover it up with foundation, he said back. Anyway, my scar hurt and then I had a vision of what was happening to Draco. Volfamort has him bondage. We already did this. It co yeah, it's copy pasted. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is going to kill me. We are not going to be able to finish this today. Uh, we are absolutely going to have to return to this though, because holy shit, this is amazing. Dedarungolas with the one, two, three, four, five hundred bits. Thank you so much. Thanks for chucking the biddies. I I appreciate it a whole lot. Okay. Well I need to rest my voice for a, just a few minutes, but hey, it's that time again. Everyone, it's sippy time. Stand up, stretch your legs. Stretch your arms. Get yourself a sippy. And I'll see you all in about five minutes. Oh, my voice cracked.
Hello, I return. I've got my tea. I'm I'm resting my voice a little bit before we jump back in. It's just that orc voice. I was planning on resting my voice, but the, the orc, it just works way too well for that sort of old internet lead speak. It's, I can't pass it up. It'll be okay. I don't have to record um, any final narration for a little while. Oh, and horsies. Um, I I do have... Um, I do want to look into it a little bit. About the whole history with uh, the author. Oh, Nefarious Ellie. First live stream of mine. Happy to be here. I'm, I'm glad. I... I'm glad that you are here. Congratulations on finding it. I kind of have it sort of tucked away in the corner. I don't want to advertise it on Twitch because different audience. Different kind of audience that... Um, but people seem to find their way here okay. Mm. Sippy. Making a sequel to Birdemic that's self-aware. Oh, wait, they already did it and it sucked. Right. Hmm. Trade on. It's not really about embarrassment. It's about um, people would be frustrated to see that I'm like doing something. Okay. I did a voice for um, you've got like you've got to be kidding three, the Arthur thing. And there was there were people who were mad that I was recording a couple of voice lines for another thing and not working on down the rabbit hole. <laughs> I came here after you were on the RCR podcast the other month. Yeah, yeah, I mentioned. Um, I'm I'm glad that uh, you found me through that. I just kind of casually mentioned. Yeah, I've been streaming on Twitch. A couple of people, including you, found it. I'm I'm glad. And there are also a lot of people who, um, I feel like there are a lot of people who would come in from YouTube and make everything immediately political. Like that, for example, there is an explicit rule in this chat, use people's preferred pronouns. Not because I'm trying to fight a culture war, but because it's just the respectful thing to do. Right? Like that, I don't feel like, like people make it into a political choice, but people would get really pissed off about that. Espe like, especially the people from YouTube. Oh, you watched my collab with Chris slash Chester and followed. I'm, I'm so glad that, okay. Part of the reason that I don't want to advertise myself too much on YouTube is, first, I don't think that the audiences are, I don't think that there's a whole lot of compatibility across the audiences, but I also kind of want to grow my audience organically. Obviously, I, I'm a little bit kickstarted because, um... I share some of my audience with like Mike and Limes and they came over here. Um, but Mike, like I, I, I looked at the numbers. It's only about 30% of viewers watch Mike as well. I want, I, I want to build up an audience organically, which is hard on Twitch, but you know, you do it by streaming with other people. You like share it in other places, but, um, I don't want to make a community post on YouTube. Yeah, only 30%. You would think it would be more, right? But no. Yeah, I'm making it work. <laughs> you found Mike through uh, through me on YouTube. Yeah, I, I know that quite a few people found Mike um, through his, uh, through the Warrens. Hmm. Well, hey, I enjoy and like your nuanced and chill content. Great. Let's read my immortal. <laughs> okay. X X X X X X X X six 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 X X X X X X. Special thanks to Raven, my gothic's blood sister. What the fuck you supposed to? To write this? Hey Raven, do you know where my sweater I? Eh. Eh. <laughs> it's supposed to be is. 
<laughs> oh. Chapter 13. Author's Note. Raven, thanks for helping me again. I'm sorry I took your poster of Gerard, but that guy is such a fucking sex bomb. Prep, stop flamiging. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, it is kind of, uh, it's kind of turning into an Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sh Arnold Orksenegger, <laughs> Schwarzenegger. Vampire and I ran up the stairs looking for Dumbledore. We were so scared. I swear, like, don't you fucking minus two me, chat, I swear to God. That's a plus two, that's a plus two, God damn it. Maybe even a plus three. Dumble, Dumbledore, Dumbledore, we both yelled. Dumbledore came there. What, what is it that you want now, you despicable snobs? He asked angrily. Volsamort has Draco, we shouted at the same time. Oh, Misty Marcella says, I found Mike while browsing for old Shantae playthroughs and you from your furry down the rabbit hole. But then I found the Warrens and the rest is history. Yeah, that's, there aren't very many people, I think, who knew Mike and I, like, independently. He laughed in an evil voice. No, don't, we need to save Draco, we begged. No, he said meanly. I don't give a darn what Voldemort- I don't give a darn what Vo Voldemort does to Draco. Not after how much he misbehaved in school, especially with you, Ebony, he said while he frowned looking at me. Besides, I never liked him that much anyway. Then he walked away. Vampire started crying. My Dra- My- Wait. M my- Oh. My Draco, he moaned. Author's note. Don't you think gay guys are like so hot? <laughs> it's okay, I tried to tell him, but that didn't stop him. He started to cry tears of blood. Then he had a brainstorm. I had an idea, he exclaimed. What? I asked him. You'll see, he said. He took out his wand and did a spell. Then, suddenly, we were in Voltempert's lair. <laughs> we ran in with our wands just as we heard a croon voice say, Allah Akbar. <laughs> Allah Kadavra. <laughs> It was Voldemort. <laughs> Singing a Nasheed. <laughs> you realize that Allahu Akbar isn't like a terrorist thing exclusively, right? That's just an, is that's just an Islamic thing. You guys realize that, right? It just means God is great. <laughs> Inshallah, he will be baked. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, if like... If I get cancelled just for saying Allahu Akbar is a normal Islamic thing, I like... I don't... I'll be so mad. I will die on that hill. <laughs> <laughs> Just because it's so stupid. Uh. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Fatwa on Frederick. Because I'm saying that Allahu Akbar is a normal thing to say. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Inshallah, he will be cancelled. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> oh. Okay. Chapter 14. <laughs> Author's note. Fuck off, preps, okay? Raven, thanks for helping again. Oh, I'm sorry I couldn't update, but I was derpersed. And I had to go to the hospital because I slipped my wrists. P.S. I'm not updating until you give me 10 god revivers. <laughs> well, hi, this stream is certified haram. <laughs> Stop. Warning! Some of this chapter is extremely scray. The hour excretion. <laughs> that was the ugliest laugh I've ever done. It was like orc voice straight into laugh. <laughs> <laughs> It sounded like an actual bird noise. I'm becoming Lauren. <laughs> Vior excretion advised. <laughs> Vior excretion advised. Uh, I'm. <laughs> oh, I will. <sighs> oh. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> we ran to where Volsimort was. It turned out that Voldemort wasn't there. Instead, the fat guy who killed Cedric was... <laughs> you know, the fat guy. Draco was there crying tears of blood. Snake Tail was torturing him. <laughs> Listen, if you don't if you don't take a shit right now where you are, you're not a true you are a prep. If you don't shit right now in your computer chair, you are a prep. Vampire and I ran in front of Snake Tail. Rid my sight, you despicable preps, he shouted as we started shooting him with the gun. He then suddenly he looked at me and he fell down with a lovey-dovey look in his eyes. Ebony, I love you. Will you have sex with me? He said. In, in this, he is 16 years old, so he is not a pedophile, okay? Huh? I asked. Enabi, I love you, will you have sex with me? asked Snake Tail. I started laughing crudely. What the fuck? You torture my boyfriend and then you expect me to fuck you? God, you are so fucked up, you fucking bastard, I said angrily. Then I stabbed him in the heart. Blood poured out of it like a fountain. No, he screamed. He started screaming and running around. Then he fell down and died. I bur I brushed into tears sadly. <laughs> Snake ta Snake Tail, what art thou doing? called Voldemort. Then he started coming. <laughs> I'm coming in the dungeon. I'm coming while torturing kids. We could hear his high heels clacking to us, so we got on our broomsticks and we flew to Hogwarts. We went to my room. Vampire went away. Then I started crying. What's wrong, honey? asked Draco, taking off his clothes so we could screw. He had a sex pack. 
wait a minute, he, he's been tortured horribly and now he's like, okay, fuck time. He had a sex pack. Get it, cause he's so sexy. And a real huge you know what and everything. <laughs> it's so unfair, I yielded. Why can't I just be ugly or plain like all the other girls and preps here except for Bloody Mary because she's not ugly or anything? Why would you want to be ugly? I don't like the preps anyway. They are such fucking sluts, answered Draco. <laughs> yeah, but everyone is in love with me. Like, so, look, I, I, I'm not even bothering with any sort of consistency, like plot-wise or otherwise, I don't care. I don't care anymore. I'm just, I'm here for the ride. Yeah, but everyone is in love with me, like Snape and Lupin took a video of me naked. Hargrid says he's in love with me, Vampire likes me, and now even Snake Tail is in love with me. I just want to be with you, okay, Draco? Why couldn't Satan have made me less beautiful? I shouted angrily. And don't worry, Enabi isn't a snob or anything, but a lot of people have told her she's pretty. I'm good at too many things. Why can't I just be normal? It's a fucking curse, I shouted, and then I ran away. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Snakey B says Draco may have a huge you-know-what, but his balls will never be as big as Fred's. Look, there are lots of guys with huge schlongs, but nobody has balls that require seven oil tankers to carry them. That's something you're not going to get with any other guy. Ugh. Oh, uh, Emmy Kasama, um, Snake Tail, thank you for the bits. Emmy Kasama is actually a, um, Emmy, Emmy, oh my god, Snake Tail is the name of a character, I believe. Like, in the books, in the movie, in the video games. <laughs> Anybody can suck penis, but nobody can pee suckness. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for this. Oni Teeth. A fresh sub. Everyone prepare your beans because... It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Thank you very much for the sub. Is it Wormtail? Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah, I, look. I don't like Harry Potter. I love memeing on it, but I'm not into it at all. I just, I love, I, I love memeing on it. It, it. There's so much memery possible. <clears throat> oh my god, how long is this chapter? Okay, we're going to do this chapter, and then maybe we can do two more. Yeah, we'll keep going. I'll figure it out. Chapter 15, author's note. Stop flaming, okay? By the way, you suck from the on every time someone flams me. I'm gonna slip my wrists. Thanks to Raven for Hulpine. 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 Ebony. Ebony, shouted Draco sadly. No, please come back. But I was too mad. Whatever, now you can go and have sex with Vampire, I shouted. I stormed into my room and closed my black door with my blood-red key. It had a picture of Marilyn Manson on it. He looked so sexy in a way that reminded me of Draco and Vampire. I started to cry and weep. I took a razor and started to slit my wrists. <laughs> I drank the blood all depressed. Then I looked at my black Good Charlotte watch and noticed it was time to go to biology class. I put on a short ripped black gothic dress that said anarchy on the front in blood red letters and was all ripped and a spiky belt. Under that I put on ripped black fishnets and boots that said 
Joel. <laughs> Joel. Are you... <laughs> I can't say that. All over them with blood red letters. I put my ebony black hair out. Are you having sex with Draco Malfoy again, Joel? I put my ebony black hair out. Anyway, I went downstairs feeling all sad and depressed as usual. I did some advanced biology work. I was turning a bloody pentagram into a black guitar. Suddenly, the guitar turned to Draco. Enobi, I love you. Wait a minute, is Enobi like the first NB? Enobi, I love you, he shouted sadly. I do not care what those fucker preps and posers think. Oh, the most beautiful girl in the world. Before I met you, it's a little bit of orc slipping in there. Before I met you, I used to want to commit suicide all the time. Now I just want to fucking be with you. I fucking love you. Then he started to sing the chronicles of life and death. We, cons we considered it our song now because we fell in love when Joel was singing it right in front of the entire class. His singing, but wait a minute, did he like step out of the, the, the paper? Sunken cost fallacy got me hooked on this story. There's nothing here for you. And <laughs> there's nothing plot wise here for you. His singing voice was so amazing and gothic and sexy like a cross between Gerard, Joel, Chester, Pierre, and Marilyn Manson. Author's note. Don't you think those guys are so hot? If you do not know who they are, get the fuck out on here! OMFG, I said after he was finished. Some fucking preps stared at us, but I just stuck up my middle fingers that were covered in black nail polish and were entwined with Draco's now at them. I love you, I said, and then we started to kiss just like Hilary Duff. I fucking hate that bitch! And CMM? In a Cinderella story. Then we went away holding hands. Lupin shouted at us, but he stopped because everyone was clapping by how sexy we looked together. Then I saw a poster saying that MCR would have a concert in Hogsmeade right then. We looked at each other all shocked, and then we went together. <laughs> so we went. John Freeman ramped off of a building and did a backflip and landed. We're gonna have to read those at some point on stream. Okay, I think we have time. Oh my god. You know what? We're just gonna do this chapter and then we're gonna do art, okay? That's how we're gonna do this. Chapter 17 is gonna have to wait for next time. <laughs> chapter 16. Author's note. You know what? Shut up, okay? Prove to me you're not preps. Raven, you suck, you fucking bitch. Give me back my fucking street or stupid to this. Raven, what the fuck, you bitch, you're supposed to do this? By the way, thanks to Brittany5655 for teaching my Japanese. <laughs> thanks to Brittany. <laughs> Tekken, Tekken, my Japanese, Japanese. <laughs> what? Yeah, top ten anime betrayals. Hold on, give me back my fucking sweetie. What? <laughs> what? So there's drama happening between them. You know what? Sut up, okay? Prove to me you're not preps. Raven, you suck, you fucking bitch. So, like, there's a fallout. Uh, okay. Well, th the story continues. We ran happily to Hogsmeade. Excuse me. There we saw the stage where GC had played. We ran in happily. My Chemical Romance were there playing Helena. I was so fucking happy. Gerard looked even sexier than he did in the pictures. 
Even Draco thought so. I could totally see him getting an erection, but it didn't matter because I knew no that we were the only true ones for each other. Oh, Dedarangol has just gifted a sub to boot plug plug work creep. Well, I, I, I have seen you in chat for so long and I still don't know how to say your name. But hey, congrats on getting the gift sub. And of course, it looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Thank you very much. Uh, I was wearing a black leather mini dress and black leather platinum boots with red ripped fishnets. Draco was wearing a black baggy MCR t-shirt and black baggy pants. Anyway, we stated moshing to Helena. We Frenched. We ran up to the front of the band to stage dive. Suddenly, Gerard pulled off his mask. So did the others. We gasped. It wasn't them at all. It was... Volsimort and the Death Dealers. What the fuck, Draco? I'm not going to a concert with you, I shouted angrily. Not after what happened to me last time, even if it's MCR, and you know how much I like them. What? 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 Did they write a bit that they meant to like write farther down into the chapter? I think that they wrote this, that they wrote the end of the story and then they were supposed to put it at the end. Of, of the chapter. You know what? Let me double check. <clears throat> no? What? Does it come later? It does come later. Wait a minute. He was really skinny and he had an amazing ethnic voice. What? What does that mean? <laughs> Spoilers for next time we read this on stream. What the fuck, Draco? I'm not going to a concert with you, I shouted angrily. Not after what happened to me last time, even if it's MCR and you know how much I lick them. What? Because we, you know, he gadgeted uncomfortably because guys don't uncomfortably. Because guys don't like to talk a about you know what. Yeah, because we, you know, I yielded in an angry voice. We won't do that again, Draco promised. This time we're going with an escort. OMG WTF, are you giving into the mainstream? I asked. So I guess you're a prep or a Christina or what now? No, he muttered loudly. So what? Did he muttered loudly? Did he, like, stuff marshmallows in his mouth? <laughs> Are you becoming a prep or what? I shooted angrily. Um. Um. Okay. Bonk, bonk. Sorry, I was taking a note because I realized that I wanted to add the... No! No! Sound clip. To, uh, like, to the soundboard. I need to add a lot of stuff to the soundboard. Uh, n no, he muttered loudly. Are you becoming a prep or what? I shooted angrily. Enobi, I'm not. Please come with me. He fell down to his knees and started singing The World is Black by Good Charlotte to me. I was flattened because that's not even a single. He had memorized the lyrics just for me. Okay, then I guess I will have to, I said, and then we Frenched for a while, and I went up to my room. 
but Bloody Mary was standing there. Hajime mashite, girl, she said happily. She speaks Japanese, so do I. That means how do you do in Japanese? By the way, Willow, that fucking poser got expelled. She failed all her cl classes, and she skipped math. Author's note. Raven, you fucking suck. Fuck you. It serves that fucking bich right. I laughed angrily. Well, anyway, when we're felling all depressed, we watched some golf. Oh, this is when like Raven le like leaves the writing. Is it all like that? Hold on. Well, uh, we watched some gothic movies like Das Night Mare before Christmas. Maybe Willow will die too, I said. Kawaii. Blood, but Lottie Mayer shook her head in energetically lethargically. Oh yeah, I'll have a confession after she got expelled. I murdered her and then Lupin did it with her because he's a necrophilac. <laughs> what the fuck? So this person has a falling out with her friend. So she writes it into her story that one of the characters kills her and then one of the teachers at Hogwarts has sex with her dead body. Okay. Kawaii, I... I commented happily. We talked to each other in silence for the rest of the movie. Oh, hey, by the way, I'm going to a concert with Draco tonight in Hogsmeade with MCR, I said. I need to wear, like, the hottest outfit ever. Bloody Myri nodded en energetic Ailey. OMFG totally, let's go shopping. In Hot Topic, right, I asked, already getting out my special Hot Topic Loyalty card day. No, my head snapped up. What? My head spoon. I could not believe it. But Luddy Mary, are you a prep? No, no, she laughed. I found some cool gothic stores near Hogwarts, that's all. Am I destroying my voice? My voice is good. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be just fine. Who told me about them? I asked sure it would be Draco or Diabolo or Vampire. Don't even say that Nom to me. We lost Dia we lost Vampire and Nom. Or me. Dumbledore, she said. Let me just call our Brahms. O OMFFG Dumbledore? I asked quietly. Yeah, I saw the map for Hogsmeade on his desk, she told me. Come on, let's go. We were going in a few punk goth stores, especially for the concerts in Hogsmeade. The salesperson was OMG hotter than Gerard, except not because that's impossible, and he gave me a few dresses. We only have these for the real goths. The real goths, me and Bloody Mary asked. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many poses there are in this town, man. Yesterday, Lupin and Snap tried to buy a gothic camera pouch. He shook his head. I didn't even know they had a camera. OMFG, no, they're gonna spy on me again, I cried, running out of the changing room wearing a long back black dress with lots of red tulle coming out and very low cut with a huge slit. Oh my Satan, you have to buy that outfit, the salesperson said. Yeah, it looks totally hot, said Bloody Mary. You know what? I am going to give it to you free because you look really hot in that outfit. <laughs> hey, are you going to be at the concert tonight? He asked. Yeah, I am, actually. I looked back at, at him. Hey, by the way, my name's Ebony Darkness Dementia Terraway. What's yours? 
Ah, they got rid of Raven because they're not friends with Raven anymore. Tom Ridd, he said, and ran a hand through his black dyed hair. Maybe I see you there tonight. Yeah, I don't think so, because I'm going there with my boyfriend Draco, you sick perv, I yelled angrily, but before he could beg me to go with him, Hargrid flew in on his black broom, looking worried. OMFG Ebondi, you need ought get back into the castle now. <laughs> and that is where we will end our reading of My Immortal for today. <laughs> the emphasis on d dementia. <laughs> Radio Rosewater Jesus. The dementia really coming through in this one. Yeah. But yeah, I think that now is about time. Yeah, reading. I don't know. I don't know what this was, what you would classify this as. But um, we're not done. We will be returning to my immortal because I'm this is so buck wild. I love just how absolutely maddening it gets. Must know more. Well, we'll do it again at some point. Soon. Well, if I, lo if I learned anything, it's that um, back in the day, all high school goths were actually uh, orcs. I learned today. Well, hey, everyone, it is art time. We have, oh my god, we have a lot. Holy shit, we have a lot. Okay, yeah, okay, this is gonna take a minute. So, uh, tuck yourselves in. We've got a minute. First off, we have... Oh! Oh! Animated fan art from Rising Pressure as well. Okay, you know what? Let me look that up on Imgur real quick. I'll, I'll copy that. Uh, slash that. That should work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll, we'll be looking at that at the end after we go through the Twitter artwork. Okay. Former high school gothier can confirm. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm learning today. We're all learning today. First off, we have a piece by Mintellect. Mintellect, this is amazing. What if Fred was like a Disney princess who could attract woodland animals at will, but did it by telling his fucked up stories instead of through song? <laughs> and thus begins our tale of the Final Fantasy House. <laughs> holy shit this is per i feel like that basically is what i'm doing with everyone right like hey everyone it's story time we're reading my immortal and all all, all the twitch viewers are like yay story time and uh, as they keep as it keeps going they're like yay yay it, it starts to become more worrisome <laughs> No, this is so cute, Mintellect. I love this. Absolutely precious. Oh. <laughs> I have a red scarf. I should wear my red scarf more often. It's, it's really comfy. And we have more art from Mintellect. Oh, no. Mintellect, what have you done? Look. It's, <laughs> it's high school goth Lauren Cham. <laughs> Blood orange, angry smiley face, goth, evil. <laughs> Goddamn normies, normal, oh my God, the normal people scare me shirt. <laughs> this is amazing. 2000s emo Lori Chan, hell yeah. I think it suits you. And oh my gosh. Featuring postal worker Fred. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I look so I look so ready to deliver the mail. Okay, look, unironically, one thing that I am proud of as an American is our postal service. 
like the postal serve like the usps is wild like it's so complicated but is like it's it's a public work that just has so much history to it as well all right anyway I, i'm simping for the postal service i don't know why it's just look it's it's impressive okay is it is it imp is it an impressive bit of infrastructure this is fantastic is that a yeah that's a good charlotte shirt god wait tos what do you mean tos what did i do am i i'm it's is it because i'm simping for the mail service <laughs> simp god damn it oh god oh my god i forgot right they consider that as oh god oh god i forgot they consider that a slur uh, I mean, I you didn't hear anything. All my vods gone. <laughs> okay, well we have a good, <laughs> we have a good little piece of art from from Shala Zeal. Hearing the name Joel Madden made me think of this monstrosity. I used Leslie Nielsen as Joel, and that's a Voldemort face swapped with Putin. In addition, I limited the color palette for that authentic Hong Kong 97 feeling. The year is 2027. A herd of fucking ugly Yanks has invaded America. Crime rates skyrocketed. NFL is ruined. Therefore, the NFL government called John Baden's relative Joel. <laughs> This is so good. What the fuck? For the memory of the Yanks, Joel is a killer meme. Split sides of all 329.5 million of the Yank turds. However, there was a secret project in progress. A project to transform the deceased Voldemir Poutine into an ultimate douche. Oh my god. Oh, the 8-bit drummer always gets away with saying simp and slide? Okay. Okay, we're probably fine. <laughs> this is so good. Holy shit, Shala. Absolutely incredible work on this. It's the the compression. It's it's quality. And we have uh Princess Makes. We have <laughs> AU. It's good. You look just like John Madden. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Princess Makes. It's look, it's 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 vampire potter. AU. 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 And then, oh no, Frankie D. Fun is getting in on the Lauren, the the gender bent Lauren, a waifu Lauren, and they say, "I did another waifu Lauren, but themed after my immortal, so we got big bitty goth GF Lauren." <laughs> I'm glad I can help you get past your your art block. I know how that is. Damn, but but look at this though. But look at this, though. God damn. It's kind of... He's, uh, she's kind of got the Little Red Riding Hood um, hood going on. This is... This is some... I... You know what? I hate how authentic... Like, I hate and love how authentic this is. Like, authentic... Like, this is the kind of thing you would see someone wear to, like, a, a goth bar or something. Right, right when they turn 21. You feel it? Those boots are sick, though. I feel like those would show up in an anime or something. I... No, this is absolutely sick. Thank you so much, Frankie. Fantastic work. <gasps> oh, no. Ika Pika did a little animation for us. Hold on. There, it, it seems like there is audio. Yes. Babies are lovable and innocent, but they're not good. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> is that... Ika Pika? Is that a fucking PragerU audio clip? 
that you're using? Babies are lovable and innocent, but they're not good. They're entirely self-centered, <laughs> as they have to be in order to survive. I want mommy, I want milk, I want to be held, I want to be comforted. And if you do not do all these things immediately, I will ruin your life. <laughs> the fucking gun. Oh my god. Ika Pika, this is so good. What the shit? <laughs> and Mintelect, both of you, holy shit. This is. Oh, I want to watch Babies this again. They're lovable and innocent, but they're not good. They're entirely self centered, as they have to be in order to survive. I want mommy, I want milk, I want to be held, I want to be comforted. <clears throat> and if you do not do all these things immediately, I will ruin your life. <laughs> it's so perfect. Oh, this is this is incredible shit posting. Also, I thought that there wasn't a consensus about um there wasn't a consensus on why babies cry, like that it's adversarial. Like I I like that's just one theory. But it's not like definitive fact, right? Or, or has that kind of been settled evolutionarily? Because, I mean, it, it's really hard to tell precisely why something would have evolved. Like, you you just can't be certain. You believe whatever... I believe whatever Prager says because he says it in the funniest way possible. God, I love, I love Prager U shit posts. Oh, and Starry Feathers is back with... Oh, God, I... <laughs> it's back with even more we got uh, a sketch like I, I keep calling them um something else I, I it's they're more like sketch pad sketch like pages what do you what would you want me to call them well starry feathers says Hello, my name is Story Darkness Forgetty Spaghetti Burbway, and this is my co colleague. <laughs> collage. I was calling them collage, but it's like a sketch. Yeah, what, what do you want me to call them, Starry Feathers, if you're here? The sketch page? <laughs> There's gonna be some good shit here, aren't there? Steak slap! Yeah, that's how you beat a vampire. Stop it, you horny simps. <laughs> Professor McGoggles. <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah, fuck off prep. This is... Oh my god. It's fucking high school goth <laughs> scene kid. Lauren. Oh my god. This is amazing. Ah, the school the screams <laughs> actual bird cry <laughs> fred becomes bird i'm so terrified to look at the clips after stream and hear that for myself sunburnt owl flew too high i did i did go too high i wake yeah those emotes are coming the emotes are coming asmr ah uh, good crab lot <laughs> sippy <laughs> accurate to today though then a bottle of blood just in case count chocula plus blood great perfect goths are the biggest and the greenest <laughs> rip beak bean smasher look at him <laughs> it's time for crab meat Oh my god, this is so good, Starry Feathers. Thank you so much. Are there any that yeah, that covers there. Oh no, we missed AIDS! <laughs> I, I don't think I called that out. Oh oh oh. <laughs> ten out of ten orgasm sounds. What, is that not what you sound like? Is that what is that did, does no one else sound like that? I pretty I don't Thank you, Starry Feathers. I, I always look forward to the collages. Oh no. You guys. 
Ika Pika is back with Goth GF Lori San. Big titty. Be big booba. Big boob for madam. Big, big Helena. <laughs> oh my God. What, what if goth, like, oh, I guess this is just Lori San, right? Lori San, but like she goes by Helena <laughs> when she's, that's her goth Sona. Oh, and that, oh, the, the, oh, what, what are these called where you have the cigarette? It's a cigarette holder. I just know that it's called a cigarette holder. There are a lot of emotions happening right now. <laughs> and all of them are positive. Some of them are scared. Bublis, blue, blue, blah, bubaba. <laughs> Even the fucking chain. I totally had a wallet with a chain when I was in high school. Um, but I actually stopped using um, the wallet because it had a chunk of plastic on the front that like was wearing through my jeans. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ika Pika. Absolute quality. And we have, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Ika Pika has, the waifu has overcome Fred's not a furry for Sonas. Yeah, because we have the, the many forms of Fred at this point. The majority of them have been assigned to me. We have the human, we have the owl, we have the rabbit, we have the Fred owl, uh, we have the, the shork, we have V owl, we have a Deloren, the, the bean bird. Then we have Lori Chan, Lori Sama, <laughs> Meat Goddess, Xenoblade Lorem, Naked Burning Turkey. <laughs> I have to say that very carefully. Naked Burning Turkey. Naked burning turkey. NFT Lori. <laughs> and emo goth GF Lori Jam. God, these are. I'm. Yeah, you made me paranoid. Of course you made me paranoid. No, this is, this is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much for compiling this. It's true. There's, there's just so many forms at this point. I am formless. I am infinite. I am eternal. It's accurate though. <laughs> oh no. And then we have we have some quality shit posting from Ika Pika. Stop flaming your gits. Stop flaming your prets. Your preps. Prets? Pretzels? Preps. We're gonna kill those preppy you umies. But <laughs> I am Odo. No, I, I am Odo rebuking um, rebuking Quark for making NFTs. They're non-fungible tokens, Odo. Yes, you've, <laughs> you've been consuming a lot of electricity. I've been getting complaints. <laughs> Aw, and... Farah did did the edit of the angry bird, small angry Lauren friend in the bathtub after Draco committed suicide, probably gonna slit his wrists again or something. <laughs> Thank you, Farah. Thank you for making this. Uh, <laughs> lovingly put into the bathtub. Quality ship. I feel like I get this stream gets such quality ship posts. At that point, are they are they even ship posts anymore? Hey, talons. <laughs> Angie Lauren. Oh, this is so cute. Viumus. Brew. I swear to God, if you if you still have that name, Brew. The, the, the longer you have that name, Brew, I'm just going to keep doing Brew. But Viumus has Angie Lauren in the bathtub listening to Linkin Park. <laughs> no, this is so good. Thank you. Thank you, Viumus. I love it. I love it. Oh no, and Farah with Orc Lauren. 
War boss rip beak bean sm I okay, look, the funniest the funniest thing I have ever seen in Warhammer 40k is Space Marines saying orc names completely straight faced. Like Mech Bad Zappa is attacking the region. And like they even say it with with <laughs> he doesn't say Mech Bad Zapper, he says Mech Bad Zappa. It I love it. It's so stupid. War boss Rip Beak Bean Smasher reads a certified fan fiction classic. Author's note. After my immortal, you need to read. <laughs> Stop flaming the story, gets okay. Otherwise, thanks to the gothic people who do for the good reviews. <laughs> Thank you, Farah. Oh no. Griffins with a piece of art. <laughs> it's an orc. An orc writing the fan fiction. I love emo orcs. Look, emo orcs are valid and they are important and they must be protected. <laughs> Author's note special fangs get it cuz i'm gothic to my gf you not in that way raven bloody tears 666 for helping me with the story and spelling you rock justin you're the love of my depressing life you rock too mcr rocks look all orcs sound like that male orcs lady orcs it's just all of them okay and it's important just like it's important that Lord of the Rings dwarves have beards. That is very important. <laughs> very, very important. Zakombe, with a sub. Thank you so much. A new sub. Thank you. And hey, guess what? It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. <laughs> This is so good. Thank you so much, Griffins. I think we have one more. We have the spinning bean. I did not forget. See, I'm the best. Do, 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 do. Haha. -ha. Bean. T Owl Bean 3D. You know, I think I want some, um, some, um, Animated emotes. I feel like this would replace one of the animated emotes. I'd rather have something with Lauren in it for um, the animated emotes. I don't. I only have five slots for them, but otherwise, I would absolutely use this. This is fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I have some plans for the uh, for the emote slots, and I think that's about it. Let me double check. Let me double check twatter. Oh, we do have one more. Wait, wait, wait. We have a we have an extra from uh, Starry Feathers. A uh, zoom in on the bloodbath and beyond. <laughs> Quality. Thank you, Starry Feathers. Bean spin does not help my constant problem of hearing boner spin room. Boner spin. Wait, uh, what did I miss? What what did I miss? Where is it? Looking, 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 looking. Looking, looking. Looking, looking. 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 Looking, looking. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Where is it? Uh-oh. Hold on. Is it in a reply to one of them? Stories? Oh, what was that the one that you were talking about? I looked at it, didn't I? Am I just a prep? It's, it's the bloodbath and beyond. It's the extra zoom in. Yeah, no, we saw it. Okay, good. <laughs> Stream delay. Okay. 
Well, that's going to be it for this stream. Let's see who is streaming. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Let's set up limes. Because she is streaming. What is she streaming? Let me look. Mute. Oh my god, she's streaming Harry Potter games. She's doing bean game. Yeah, no, no, we, we gotta. We absolutely gotta. Perfect. Um... Hold on a second. We we need a message. We need a stream message. What what do we have? There are just too many good ones. Um, you know what? Or a uh, real golf. You're a real golf. That's our stream message. What do you mean I'm close to a hype train? <laughs> oh no, Commandant Cobalt, sub for two months, says almost forgot. Hey, thank you, and hey. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. <laughs> thank you very much, everyone. We will be back Thursday with more stream. I'll, I'll figure out what it is. We might be doing Ready Player Fuck. I'll, I'll see how I'm feeling. Hell, we might even continue my immortal. Bye, everyone. It's been a lovely time. I'm very glad to be back streaming. Bye.